Having a mature tourism industry, South Africa is regarded as the most cosmopolitan country in Africa. It's a country where you'll see people from every part of the globe. So if you're planning to set foot on South African soil, do not worry about the food specialties. Here, you'll find dishes influenced by the local population along with Indian, Dutch, French, and Malaysian cuisines. Welcome back to another exciting video in which we are going to show you the top 10 food specialties you must try while you're in South Africa. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button to never miss a video from Travel Tricks. Now, let's get into the video. At number 10, we have Borowars, also known as a farmer's sausage. Borowars is a type of sausage made from beef mince. Please don't confuse it with regular sausage, guys, because this mouth-watering food has its own fan base. To qualify for the Borowars standards, it must have at least 90% of meat. The mince mixture comprises spices such as coriander, pepper, cloves, and nutmeg. Mm. <laughs> Borowars are traditionally served in a spiral shape, which looks very similar to kebab and cooked on a braai. If you want to try making it at home, no problem. Just ask Sir Google for the recipe and boom, <laughs> you're set. At number 9, we have biltong. If you're feeling hungry while exploring African life, you can try biltong, one of the best foods to try in South Africa. From its humble beginnings as a cured meat made purely for preservation to the spicy snack as it is today, biltong has a very different taste that you'd love to eat again and again and might I say, again? <laughs> it's a thinly sliced, air-dried meat that is cured in a mixture of vinegar, spices, salt, and sugar and hung to dry. This food is a must-try dish for every explorer. Now, stop thinking about its taste and focus on the next specialty here. <laughs> At number eight, we have bubble tea. Just forget about the other traditional dishes and try this one. Although the African community is loaded with many dishes to try, eating bubble tea will surely leave you amazed. It's a South African dish made with milled or shredded meat and some dried fruits such as almond and turmeric. To give you an everlasting eating experience, they cover it with egg-based savory custard and bay leaves, baked in an oven until the custard is ready. No matter how foodie you are, you've missed a lot if you haven't tried beef bubble tea. At number 7, we have rooster root. Here comes the right combination for the braai. Rooster root means the grilled cake, and it is a traditional South African bread baked on a grid over the coals. This is something that you'd love to try. The essential ingredients used to make it are flour, salt, sugar, and oil. After mixing the ingredients, these small balls of bread dough are brushed with butter and grilled until slightly charred. Apart from the braai, a South African barbecue, rooster brew can also be eaten as a snack. All you need to do is carry jam, butter, and or cheese with you. At number 6, we have bunny chow. Are you tired of eating traditional foods? No problem. We have something different for you. Try the mouth-watering bunny chows. Bunny chows originated from India, but today this spicy combination has crossed borders and it's also popular in the UK. The dish consists of half or a quarter loaf of bread that is hollowed out and stuffed with curry that has been cooked with kidney beans or meats such as mutton, chicken, and lamb. Traditionally, Africans consume it without utensils. The most important thing is that it's very cheap and you can prepare it at home. Even if you're low on budget and cannot afford chicken, you can use pork or vegetarian varieties containing lentils and beans. At number 5, we have Cape Malay Curry. Cape Malay Curry is a blend of different traditional recipes that is very famous in the whole country. In the 17th century, when French and Dutch landed and occupied Cape Town, along with their slaves from Malaysia, Indonesia, and India, their respective traditional recipes combined, and ultimately a new dish came into existence. Influenced by Malaysian cuisine, this dish is a blend of sweets and spices, including fennel, mustard, coriander, turmeric, fenugreek, a little chili, and black pepper. When cooked, the aroma of this dish attracts everybody to taste it all at once, and that's the reason behind its popularity. Enough about spices though guys. At number 4, we have milk tart. Milk tart is a very famous African food made with a sweet pastry crust and a feeling like a very light cheesecake. 
Just like traditional sweet dishes, its ingredients are very common and easily available. If you want to try it at home, all you need is milk, sugar, flour, and eggs. This dish is unique because of the ratio of ingredients that the filling sets with the taste of milk. The tart is topped with crushed cinnamon, which adds more taste to it. The dish has a strong history, and now, locals have created recipes that don't involve baking. Moreover, the substitution of milk with powdered milk allows the lactose intolerant to enjoy it too. But remember, one thing that as a visitor you shouldn't get confused about is the name, because there is an alcoholic beverage of the same name created by locals that tastes very alike. At number 3, we have Pajikos. As the name indicates, a regular but special food that is prepared in a pot. What makes this dish special is its flavor. Thanks to Paji, also called a Dutch oven in the cooking process, you can try any recipe and we are sure you get a quality meal. But if you want to go with the traditional method, no problem. In this method, locals layer fresh vegetables on top of meat with a bit of sauce and then the cast iron pot cooks on low heat usually outside on a small fire. To get the best taste and quality, you need to make sure that you heat it accordingly. Interesting one, isn't it? Now, let's head over to the next one. At number two, we have bakums. If you wanna try something fishy, Africa has bakums in store for you. Guys, this is something that you cannot miss. It's a unique type of salted and dried mullet that is commonly famous in the western areas of South Africa. The ingredients include small fish, coarse salt, and fresh water only. To prepare a perfect bakum, a large square tank built out of brick is filled with a savory pickle made of around 50 kilograms of coarse salt and fresh water, to which the fish is added. After that, it's dried in the sun and wind. Usually it's consumed as a snack, but it can also be used in pasta, soups, and much more. At number one, we have Malva Pudding. Malva pudding is a Cape Dutch dessert that incorporates apricot jam and has a spongy texture with caramel flavor. Those who bake it drizzle a cream-based sauce over the pudding when it comes out of the oven. This produces a sticky, mushy, cake-like treat. It's a South African favorite and it's usually served with hot custard or vanilla ice cream. So which food specialty are you going to try when you hit South Africa? Don't forget to let us know in the comments and also check out our other videos so we can help you plan accordingly. Thank you for watching Travel Tricks and we'll see you later.